Welcome at this back again. Today I'm out hiking with my dogs, with two of the border collies, and my plan is to talk about navigation, the basic skills in the navigation. I also want to show you something that I get from the other side of this planet, more or less. So, if you're new to this channel, my name is Matti, and I'm living far up in northern Sweden, north of Arctic Circle. And I'm living and working as a nature guide with our own company together with Tina. You very often hear people say that they know nothing about navigation. Uh, that's not true. If you find the way from your bed to your bathroom, then you know a little bit about navigation. So navigation is about having a map, having a picture of the landscape. And the landscape can be your flat, it can be the mountain range or whatever. And navigation is to know how to find from spot A to spot B. So now we know that most of you actually have some skills of navigation, even if it's just from your bed to the toilet. And then we have the map. The map is a picture of the landscape or the room. It's a picture of how it looks like. This maps, you can make a map over your flat and you make all the rooms on the paper and you make different kind of symbols if it is a toilet or kitchen and you make a symbol for where the food is and so on. That's exactly how it is out here. These maps show where is the forest, where is the mountain, where is the creek, lakes, rivers, wetland, dry land. It show all that with different kind of symbols and different kind of colors. So right now I follow a trail or a path through the forest just close to my home. And this trail are like a long line with dots, with black dots. With only the map and uh, with what I see out here, that's enough for knowing where I am. You can find usually very nice areas with marked trails like this. And then it makes make everything much more easier when you start practice navigating. Because here you have signs and it also exists a map with the yellow trail, the red white trail, blue trail and so on. And then it's much easier to look at that map and see, okay, where am I? I'm at the crossroad between these four trails and these three trails. And as you see, here is the crossroad. Very easy. Uh, so, start, navigate in an area where you are comfortable and where you find these marked trails and where you have a good map. So right now we have reached a spot where the trail goes straight to the water and there is a small lake and we can see a hill over there. And I will show you on the map that this spot is a spot that's easy to find because you see here Here. You see here the trail goes here and now it's going down to the wet open land area here and then you have the lake. And straight over there there is a hill. Now this map is just a small part of the map so you don't really see it but there is a hill over here. So now I know I've been walking this trail and it's been quite straight and now I'm at this point. 
So already when I started hiking along this trail, I know this trail will be quite straight until I reach the lake. Now I will continue to the right, going around and find the trail up to the hill. If I compare this with your flat, this is uh, when you reach the door to the kitchen. You wake up in the bedroom, you reach the door to the kitchen, you continue forward a little bit and then you know the toilet is there. So this is, you're using the landscape to know where you are. Simple, isn't it? <laughs> when it's warm like this, it's very nice to reach a lake and the dog wanna jump into the water and usually take a swim. Yummy! We had to talk about this. This is from Nevada. I got it on the mail this week. And uh, I have already opened it, so I know what it is in it. It's a fire starter. And I'm used to have this fire starter, but I tried this, of course, already and it is heavy yes but the sparkles from the magnesium is different <laughs> it's really different they are it seems like they are more hot but at least it's much more of them so really nice And there was also some uh, magnesium powder and some... <laughs> this is so fun. This is from Bill in Nevada. Thank you very much. I'm super happy for this. But it is some kind of uh, glitter. <laughs> we have it everywhere. Yellow, golden, silver, red, green. It's all different kind of glitter. And inside this, of course, it's um, some kind of uh, thing that you... I don't know the Swedish name. <coughs> but you use it for... It's made of hampa, the rope. And you make it like this and... Uh, uh, you mix it with some of this um, magnesium powder. And then 
it's easy to start. Here, look. You see all this glitter? <laughs> it's so fun. Anyway, thank you very much, Bill. I will try without this today to make fire and make some cup of tea, but I will use this. But I will try this with, uh, with the kind, kind of uh, lichen we have up here in the north. <laughs> Glitter everywhere. <laughs> so, thank you, Bill, Nevada Bill. This was super nice gift from you. And you told me a long time ago that you had sent me something and uh, we had to wait for a long time. The, the post was really slow. Very nice. Now we make fire. <laughs> Actually, when we're talking about navigation, when you feel comfortable with making navigation out here, then you can extend your tour because you have the feeling that you know where you are and you have the feeling that you know how to find your way back home. We have um, actually different kinds of map. So one to 100,000 is very common up in the mountain and, and uh, yeah, in the surrounding here. So this is 100,000 smaller than the reality. This map I printed from internet and this one is one to 10,000. So on this map, I started here and crossed the whole map. On this map, one to 100,000. I've just been in this small area up here. So, of course, this one to 100,000 have less details than a small map with one to 10,000 like this. We start with the map. This black line, this grid with the black line, show that north is in that direction. See? I know now that we are here on top of this hill and my home is down here. This is a compass. This one you can twist to set a direction. The needle always show the direction of north. So actually right now you see that the real north is there and the map is in the wrong direction, but that's not, no matter. I want to go, don't look at the needle now. I want to take the direction from the top of the hill there to the top of that hill, because that hill I can see over here. Then I put the side of the compass like this from where I am 
to the point where I want to go. And then inside the compass you have lines and the north, you remember, here, north on this house and south on this side. Still don't look at the needle. Don't look at the needle. You put the side from top of that mountain or hill to top of that hill. Then I turn this house on the compass so the lines inside this house have the same direction as the grid on the map. So north here pointing to north on the map. You see still don't look at the needle. Okay the side of the map from the point where I am to the point where I'm going to. Turning the house this one so the lines inside this house have the same direction as the lines on the map. North here, north on the map here. You see? After that you take the compass and turning you see that now you're looking at the needle. You take the red needle, the north part of the needle and you turn the compass until that needle point to north on the house. Then your direction is along this edge. And as you can see, it's pointing on that hill over there. Easy. So I think that's all for me today. I hope you could uh, learn something from my explanation about navigation, map and compass. If you have a question, please leave comment down here because then I can make another video about that and maybe explain it better. Whew, it's really warm here. But it seems like the worst mosquito bang for the season is over. I really hope that. Because right now I'm standing here and it's quite okay actually. <sighs> anyway, see you in next video. Ciao!